right, here's the video review for Osama Sentai King Ojer Tarantula Knight with Cicada Blade and Peed Saw. It's a centipede millipede that turns into a chainsaw, Cicada Blade, or cic that turns into blades, and Tarantula Knight himself, who is very cool and I think a fun, like I said, even if you don't get the whole series, Tarantula Knight's fun. Give this I, this got came in the special three pack with all of them together, so uh, I got them all at once. But uh, you can get each of these individually if you just want these for your King Oger, or if you just want Tarantula Knight on his own. Although I do think he looks cool with these weapons. So anyway, Cicada Blade uh, is just a small cicada with little ball jointed wings. That's about it for bug mode, and then it's going to turn to a weapon just by taking these pieces, rotating them down like that, and then bringing the blades forward, and that will attach. Um, in the same way that the God Tendos attach and other accessories attach to uh, King Oger, that's going to attach to Tarantula Knight's forearm like that. So there's Cicada Blade. Peed Saw. You can see he's a millipede. You can kind of, if you want to have him bend, you can have him turn, but that's about it. The only articulation there. You can rotate this, but that's more for the transformation. This can go wherever you want it to be. Um, but yeah, it's very limited as art in articulation, but it does look like kind of like a centipede. He's creepy crawly on your desk. And then uh, you take this, uh, fold this down and around like that, rotate this around again, same kind of arm forearm attachment here. You lift this up so it can be a handle for the other hand, even though his hands are closed, I believe. But, uh, and then you can see that this gray on the blade, so it's like a forearm chainsaw, which is cool. We'll set those off to the side and deal with Tarantula Knight, because not only does he become a cool robot, he also adds more stuff to King Oger in a way that is surprisingly not falling all over the place. So anyway, Tarantula Knight, all of his legs, he's got some little legs here, but they're all ratchety and posable. Uh, he's got the same kind of flippy front feet that uh, the Beetle and King Oja does, God Kabuto. Um, hey, that's not God Kabuto, it's God, whatever. Anyway, um, he's got little pedal pops, posable pedal pops here on the front. But it's a fun, it's a fun spider. You'll see a cool, this thing is going to come up cool uh, later on, this gold piece back here. That's his cannon. But yeah, it's actually really fun as a spider, uh, just by himself. Cool little face there. And then uh, to turn him into a robot, or to a humanoid, let's go ahead and straighten out the feet, untab them. There's a little tab here that when you're going to spider mode, you want to clip that into place so it locks the foot from rotating around on the ball joint. I bring that down. Straighten it, straighten it, pop the foot, bring the waist down, or take the legs down like that. See, there's the lower half. Get him standing up here. Up. Oh, let's go this way. So the screws aren't visible. There we go. And then, uh, bring this up so we can see the top half of him. And then the arms, you rotate them down. You want to bring this actually, so this part is facing front. You can actually, the, the arm, there's there's two rotational pieces. You want the arm to be the front one. And then you rotate it down like this, and then flip these up. Just basically swap their positions here. Uh, the arms come out, rotate the, uh, the little spider leg, foreleg back. Straighten the body up, bring that down. Yep. I wish these were a little bit more secure as clip-ons, uh, both on him and the beetle, uh, even on the main mech. These pieces like to pop off a lot. I prefer that they did not, but they do. Um, and then these just kind of sit over the shoulders. You can bring them, you can have them sit as high up or down as you want. I usually just bring them down as armor. You can even kind of rotate them out if you want more pauldron-y looking pieces. Uh, then his head comes down and forward, rotate his whole Assembly up, head comes down and forward. The pedal pops you can kind of put however you want. Uh, then you flip up, you can keep this visor down or you can flip it up to reveal the face with goggles on it, which is kind of cool. Go ahead and bring his arms back down. But yeah, he's got ab crunch out for days. You can get him to do some really acrobatic poses. Um, and there's base tarantula knight. He's got a ball joint at the head. You see that neck joint can move forward and back. Um, he's, you saw the ab crunch there. No waist swivel, unfortunately, but he's got ratcheting hips in both directions. A thigh swivel, ratcheting knees, ball joint feet, bicep swivel, ratcheting hand, and wrist swivel there. As well as you can pose these uh, 
pedal pops or, or not the pedal pops but these legs however you want this piece back here on the butt comes off and can be a big giant cannon that he can hold and fire and shoot people with um, and that looks cool i prefer to leave it on the back because the weapons he comes with are uh much cooler because again you can take the cicada blade snip it onto his forearm here chainsaw blade also again attaches to the forearm to give him a chainsaw and there he is all decked out and ready to fight and like i said his spider mode's cool his robot mode's cool uh, i like the weapons i like the color scheme i like the alternating teal and purple and then the red and blue up here on the uh top like i said that some of the the teal and everything kind of goes with the weapons you can see some of the same teal here on the cicada but it's just fun all around and like you said if you want to get this out of the way you can you can fold this up here as well but uh yeah spider robot nothing wrong with those a uh, quick size comparison here he is with the base uh, well, not the base King Oger, but King Oger with all the, the previous shoe gods all attached. Uh, this is a 13 combo, and we can turn that into a 16 combo. Wait, 13? There's 10? Yeah, 13 here, and then we can add three more. So 60, yeah, 16 combo. And then uh, you can add, <laughs> you can turn it into an 18 combo if you add the snail and the mace, and then there'll be a 20 god combo when... Cacossus comes out because Cacossus comes with a big beetle mech and then a small little golden Hercules beetle mech. Anyway, that is for the future. I'm looking forward to that future, but it is not here yet. We only have these, so let's show off how all of this stuff comes together. Now, these are not technically official. We're basically making a 14 combo here because the only, um, in the instructions so far, the only official uh, attachment is make him into armor for thing but you can uh, you can attach these onto the arms you'll, you'll see what i'm talking about um anyway let's lift them off to the side so for tarantula light we go ahead and pop the gun off like that pop this gold piece out um and then we'll transform him in a minute um so this gold piece really cool makes kind of an almost god skeletor type helmet for the main mech. So you have to rotate the uh, antenna horns here back, straight back, and then there's a clip here on the back that uh, clips the mask onto the combiner. So looking cool there. I mean, even just that, you can just take the mask off of there. That, that kind of completes, again, still needs some boots, I think, with all the stuff added to him, and, and we'll be getting those, but um, that does kind of complete the whole armored up look. Uh, that was, I think, was just slightly missing when just these three attached. Having that gold faceplate changes the head enough that it looks more like a, a powered-up version. Or the complete powered-up version. Uh, we'll go ahead, while we're at it, go ahead and take the, uh, detach the, uh, it's, it's probably easier to do that before you put the helmet on because with the horns back, it wants to pop the, the faceplate off. But, um, but yeah, clip that on. Uh, watch the knees because if you start bending the knee, popping too many joints out of place as you do this stuff, it's going to make him want to fall forward once you get all the stuff on. Although once it's all together, he's pretty sturdy. So I'll set him off to the side. We'll take the sword off. And we'll set that off to the side here. Come on now. Oh, wait. There we go. And then Tarantula Knight comes around. You basically turn him into an X, fold his head back up. Xing those out. And then you take this, fold this up. And then these are going to come around. Do you want to lock them into place? I don't know. But these are going to form like shoulder cannons for him. Basically, what you're setting up here is this is going to become a giant backpack for King Oger, um, a giant spidery backpack. And then um, this is going to attach where the sword went. And then you're going to be able to store the smaller weapon shoe gods. Actually, you're supposed to, um, as part of this, um, attach. That's again, once again, that uh, is on. Put that on backwards. 
attach the cannon. I uh, put this in his hand. So he's already got one thing attached up there, like that. But basically, with this, this thing's going to slide right in here, where... Okay, I'm going to say that. That was just because I was pushing down on it, not because it can't support the weight of the mech. Although it is starting to get... Hopefully the boots will alleviate some of it, because it is starting to get a little... Uh, I said, until you get it straighten, get all the joints properly clicked into place. It's starting to get a little over heavy. Oh, wow, we pulled his head off and his chest off. Again, this is the drawback of trying to do this from behind a camera versus when I was sitting on the couch, but whatever. It is what it is. There we go. Let's get everything reattached here. Okay. You want to keep the legs straight. You don't want to bend the knees. The, the knees bending is what gets you. As long as the feet stay flat and the knees don't bend, you can see he's back heavy. He's super back heavy, but he's capable of standing with giant now over the shoulder uh, kind of cannons here. Then the uh, sword piece, let's see if we can't get this to work. The sword piece with the ant and the papillon and all them then attaches, um, it slides on, there's a, um, I actually want these forward a little bit more. Um, there's a slide piece right here on the back that this slides down onto. So it sticks out at an angle. So now he's super back heavy uh, with this sword hanging off his back. Let's see if you can see this. This is what it looks like from the back currently. Maybe it will look better with bigger boots, but like it's impressively, one, impressively stable, all things considered, the way all of this stuff is sitting on him. But also like it does add a lot of depth to the back of the mech. But there is the 14 God combo for uh, King Oger. And like I said, you can then take, we're going to do this. Um, if you want to get really nuts, you can take, you can give him, since this hand is still free, you can give him the mace, the pill bug mace, or ball and chain. Come on, go in his hand. And then these other three limbs on the back, the three extra legs for, um, Tarantula Knight, you can come back here and you can snap on, like, snap the, the snail guy right there and snap Cicada Blade on right here. And then snap, kind of rotate and snap Chainsaw onto this limb. Oh, nope. There we go. Uh, we want to rotate it first so the blade's flat. Uh, pop, pop the millipede off of this bolt, and there we go. So now he's got, technically, all of his weapons attached. I want to bring cannon forward just a little bit to balance the weight, because he's starting to get a little back. There we go. He's actually not touching the... Not quite touching the back. So there he is with all currently 16 uh, beat bugs. Just a big 16 bug combiner there. And uh, is it 16? No, we did. No, that was 16. That is 18 because we did. Uh, there's the 10 from the main King Oger. There's the three silver and gold or gold and black. So that's 13. 14, 15, and then 16, 17, 18 down there. So 18 combiner mech, and then when Cacosis comes out, it will be a 20 combiner mech. We'll have some big boots. We'll have some beetle armor. We'll have a Hercules beetle that goes, a little golden beetle that goes somewhere on this. But uh, 
But yeah, he's getting big and massive and a lot of bugs.